welcome to Feel Good Fridays with Pastor Kristen on this last Friday of July. Uh, if you have been keeping track of stuff at All Saints, you know that last week we celebrated Christmas in July on Sunday, July 25th. We had a great time uh, singing Christmas carols together, hearing the gospel proclaimed from John 1, um, and, invite, and even enjoying some Christmas treats during our coffee hour uh, fellowship time. Uh, today, I actually have a song that I think is a great bridge between Christmas in July and our readings for this coming Sunday. And so I want to share just a few verses, and not the whole, ver the whole part of what you will hear in worship on Sunday, but a few verses from the reading that we will hear from Ephesians in worship this Sunday. From Ephesians chapter 4. I therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit. Just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. These words uh, obviously have been running through my head this week as I prepare to preach on Sunday, um, but even before I really looked at these, I had been thinking about using this particular song last week already uh, because of the connection to Christmas and taking us beyond Christmas. And as I was thinking about that, I was like, you know, there's a scripture that says something about lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. And lo and behold, it is the scripture for this coming Sunday. And so um, those words of the fact that we all have a calling. We have a calling to be unified, to be that body of Christ in the world, and to lead with humility and patience and kindness, uh, and to share the love of Jesus with the world. And so, uh, knowing that we are coming from Christmas in July and heading into these uh, verses from Ephesians, well, not even realizing those were the particular verses from Ephesians that we were reading this coming Sunday. Uh, this particular song, I think, says everything about where we are headed so well. And actually, this song was written um, in response to a Christmas poem by Howard Thurman, which you might recognize. I'm not going to read that to you because most of the words of the poem are right there in the song. Um, and so, well, I'm just going to sing for you. Uh, the song is called, I Am the Light of the World. And you are invited to sing along as you feel so moved. Feel that broken, feel that broken soul. 
said, said I am. celebration of the fact that once Christmas is over, shepherds and kings have gone home, the star has gone from the sky, uh, the real work of Christmas has begun, of us being Christ in the flesh in this world. Uh, and so as we reach out to one another, as uh, a couple of the lines that I love, to see God's children everywhere, to recognize that every person that we see is a beloved child of God. To reach out to the lost and lonely ones, to help feed children, not just with warmth and good food, uh, but also with our love. Uh, to free the prisoner from all chains. And one of the things that I really was thinking about this week, especially with the Olympics going on, which I think is one of the places that we most see our nations all come together with a show of goodwill toward each other, um, that line about rebuilding the nations with a strength of goodwill. Um, this is what we are all about. This is what as we are called to do and be as disciples of Jesus, to continue to be Christ in the flesh in this world. And so I hope that you are finding ways to be that light of Christ, to share the light of Jesus with the world. And I also hope that others are showing that light to you in the times when you most need it. Uh, it is a huge gift, not only to be able to be that light of Christ, uh, to reflect Christ's light in this world, um, but also to have it reflected to you. And so I hope you are experiencing both of those things as we seek to be that light in this world. Uh, just a note, a couple notes about things at All Saints. If you are worshiping with us in person these days, with the uptick in COVID cases and the threat of the Delta variant, uh, Public Health Madison in Dane County has recommended that all people wear masks when they are inside, regardless of vaccination status. And so we are following those guidelines. So uh, effective immediately, if you are at the church, we are recommending that you wear a mask uh, regardless of your vaccination status. 
And this Sunday, uh, things will roll along like they have been with that one minor change of masks being recommended rather than optional. Um, but starting next Sunday, uh, we are going to switch things up a little bit to kind of help with that, uh, make worship a little bit more, hopefully inviting uh, without having to think about masks. We are going to wor move worship back outside for the time being. And so we will have just one service again at nine o'clock starting next Sunday, August 8th. This Sunday, August 1st, still one service at nine uh, and one at 1045, both in the sanctuary. But starting next Sunday, August 8th, we will have just one service outside at nine. And so hope that you join us for those um, as we continue to make decisions about all of this. Uh, know that our council does not take these decisions lightly and we are seeking to do the best for our whole community uh, and hope that you continue to support our leadership as we make those difficult decisions. Um, I look forward to gathering with you uh, wherever that is, uh, whether that is in our sanctuary, outside, in the parking lot, or online, uh, to continue to be the light of Christ in this world together. I hope you all have a great weekend and hope to see you at worship on Sunday. Again, inside this week, outside next week. Well, take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.